Naina Curley from Wamda Media. I'm standing here with Rabia Ataya, the CEO and founder of Bait.com. Rabia, how are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. Are you enjoying the Abu Dhabi Media Summit? Very much so. It's been, it's been a lot of fun, very educational, and it's a great group of people here. It's, I've enjoyed it. Definitely. Um, so in your panel just now, you were talking about failure. Um, what is your perspective on the best way to handle failure in this market, or uh, frankly, in any market? So in, in my mind, again, the way I define failure is quitting, and I think the way to avoid failure is by persevering. So the best way to handle it is to, to keep on trying, to keep on uh, adapting to the situation, and finding ways to, to keep on trucking. I think the single worst scenario is to give up on something. Uh, there are often adaptations to a theme that can help turn something that one thought was a failure into a success. And do you think that we actually should be celebrating failure the way some claim that they celebrate failure in Silicon Valley? I think we should celebrate people who make mistakes along the way and find ways to bounce back and, and continue on to success. Again, if you define failure as giving up, I don't think that's something to celebrate in and of itself. You, you hardly ever celebrate something that's petered out and died, but you certainly do celebrate people who bounce back to great successes. Um, and when it comes to success, I mean, you've clearly over the last 12 years built Bait up from a startup to a, a giant company that has a presence all over the region. Um, you're one of the earliest internet companies in the region. How did you do that? I mean, what were there any key decisions or policies that you could talk about as um, things that galvanized your success? So I think to a large degree, it is about perseverance. I mean, along the way, we had a huge amount of obstacles and pitfalls and everything you could possibly imagine from governments threatening to shut us down at various points because they didn't understand what we did to at some point I was in a compound in Riyadh that flown in the night before and we were attacked and the whole compound uh, you know, blew up, including the building that I was in. And every step of the way, we sort of had to stand up, dust ourselves off and continue to work. And I think the very fact that we were committed to doing what we were doing, which is serving the region um, and serving the youth in the region, find better opportunities, helped us survive while others who were less committed, uh, you know, when faced with obstacles, just went away. And, uh, and so success is oftentimes about perseverance and waking up every morning, loving what you do and doing it. How do you guys stay fresh? You know, you have all these other players coming on the scene, Akhtabut, Le Moon now, coming up with targeted products to kind of say that they're cutting through the noise. You guys you know, have clearly gone for, for size. You, you have everybody on bait. How do you stay fresh and innovative and, uh, and cut through the noise? So size, size is important because choice for both employers and job seekers is extremely important. And you know, fundamentally, we're a shopping mall business. We're a marketplace. And the more choice you give either side, the more likely you are to succeed. However, choice without great filtering technology is useless. If you have a haystack, you need to be able to help users find that needle in the haystack. And what we've done from the very beginning is provide very innovative tools to help people find that perfect candidate or perfect job amongst the millions of perfect candidates and amongst the tens of thousands of perfect jobs. Um, so, you know, that, that's always been a challenge. And as the database has grown larger and larger, our technologies have also continually improved and we've added dimensions along the way. So today we have over 27 different fields that you can actually filter candidates by. Uh, we've just added a very interesting social dimension to our candidates to help both the candidates shine, so to let them stand out from the crowd, as well as to help employers locate the best of breed. So one without the other is useless. I would say the fact that we are actually larger than all of the job sites in the region put together from a job perspective and a, and a professional's perspective is testament to the fact that we're doing the right thing, not just in attracting large numbers of people, but helping them connect to opportunities better than anyone else. Size and technology. Cool, and do you guys help startups? I mean, I know that sometimes people talk about, you know, finding jobs is very expensive. Do you have any reduced rates for startups? So we help startups in many ways. One of the ways we help startups is we actually, you know, we've incubated, grown, and exited a few startups. So GoNabbit was actually incubated within Bait.com. Bait owned the majority of that. The whole team sat there from the day they started till, till the moment it was sold. Uh, we recently incubated a business called Mom's World, which has also gone its own way and is doing extremely well. We're now incubating a business called Doctorona, uh, which is also a very exciting new development. So that's one way we help. And we're continually inviting entrepreneurs to come in, helping them out, providing them advice whenever we can. So that's one way. The other way is we do 
offer specific products and services to startups, including the ability to recruit uh, free of charge. So we, we have a, a job product and a search product that is catered to companies that are less than one year old. Very cool. And this is reminding me that I liked your point in the panel about you know, the Middle East focusing a bit too much on seeking acquisitions from the outside and not as much on companies that are you know, creating a global presence and actually acquiring others. So our, our vision from the start has been to create a Middle Eastern institution that is globally respected and admired. We feel there are very few businesses in the region that are trying to expand outside of the region and really be truly globally known. Uh, there have been few great success stories and Aramex is, is one of them. Um, but we'd obviously like to see more and we'd, be, we'd like to be amongst those. Thank you so much for chatting with Wamda. Thank you.